The number one question whenever there's new sneakers, how good are they? So here is the Adidas Young One. Adidas with some brand new fire. Personally, I love getting my hands on a new sneaker model. It's way more exciting than just getting the same shoe over and over again in a bunch of different colorways. I think Adidas and Nike both have given us some really, really dope new sneaker silhouettes recently. And this young one, as soon as I saw pictures, my spidey senses started tingling. And by that, I mean, I thought they looked cool and I wanted a pair. Now let's hit some of the main points. As far as I know, there is not a set release date, but it looks like sometime in June, retail is 130 bucks and there are several colorways that they're gonna roll out. This particular colorway I thought was inspired by the legend Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Now, full disclosure, I'm not a Dragon Ball Z guy. I am a New York Knicks guy. And that's the first thing I thought of when I saw these. I did, however, see people talking about Goku's super karate suit that is a similar color, but these are not part of that Dragon Ball Z pack that Adidas is doing. These are just fly, that's it. When I saw them, I said, yo, that's Patrick Ewing. That's the 15 footer from Big Pat. That's mellow, three to the dome. I love blue and orange, always have, always will. And like I said, the model itself is dope, but this colorway, this is the colorway I was locked in on. For materials, they used suede and mesh, and they fit a little bit big, by the way, at least for me they do. As far as the inspiration behind the actual shoe, it is the Adidas Falcon Dwarf from 1997. And I think this shoe was coming at the right time. A few years ago, I don't think it would have been received that well. It was boost or die at that point. It was a more modern runner that people were looking for, I feel like. But now with dad core being what it is and dad shoes in full effect, these are perfect because essentially that's what they are, a juiced up dad shoe. To me, they're really good though. I'm into them. Obviously, we have this pair a little early, so I definitely wanted to give you a look at them, share my initial thoughts with you. I know some people will be on the fence, so this is how I feel about them. I'll keep you posted. These are going into the rotation immediately. Foam coup. Is that even a thing? Even if these aren't the Gokus, I could still be foam coup. Yeah, I'm adding that to my AKA list because although I never really got into the Dragon Ball Z craze, like I said, I am a karate expert, as some of you may already know. I do karate in a plethora of places. I execute kicks with the cleanest precision. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable, and I'm just ferocious. Okay, okay. I got that from Mike Tyson, but you get the point. I will let you know how these hold up. I'll let you know how these feel after wearing them for a few weeks. I always do. Leave a comment below and let me know how you feel about them. I told you how I feel. Tell me how you feel. Leave a comment below. And on that note, this video will self-destruct in three, two. It's not actually gonna self-destruct. Buckets is gonna edit it and we're gonna upload it on YouTube. But self-destruct sounds a lot cooler like a Jason Bourne movie or James Bond or something. Subscribe to this channel. You have your mission. Goodbye. Wait. For what? Don't look at it, just hold it up. Don't look at it, just hold it up. All right. Can you see it? A little higher? Yeah, that's math. Okay, do I get to look at it now? Sure.